everyone that will check this interview. We have the pleasure over here with Mr. Eddie. Eddie, it's always a pleasure. Thanks for giving me the second chance over here to speaking with you. In regards of Danny Roman, I know Danny Roman is getting ready for a fight. Can you tell us when is the day and remind the fight fans when is the day when he will step in the ring again? Well, Christian, first of all, uh, thank you for having me here for a second time. And uh, to answer your question, yeah, Danny will be back in the ring May 19th at the, uh, I believe it's called the uh, Health Dignity uh, Sports Center in Carson, California. Carson, and California. Yes, and he'll be uh, fighting uh, against uh, Ricardo Espinosa from uh, Tijuana, Mexico. Which is great for Danny's career and, of course, for boxing in general because... All the fight fans, they stay tuned. They've been checking on Danny. They've been checking in, in these uh, fighters that eventually has the title. Um, Nettie, Fulton, and of course, Danny is coming back, I believe, to regain his titles. I believe that he's hungry. Can you tell us in, in, in a few words, like, there's more details what Danny's been doing right now in order to conquer again and regain the titles, please? Yeah, well, you know, like I think I believe I mentioned this back to you in the last interview we had. Uh, then he went back into the ring a week after uh, his last fight with uh, with Juan Payano, uh, which was in September. I believe it was the 26th, 28th of September. And uh, he went right back into the gym. He's been working out ever since. Uh, right now he's in camp for, uh, for his fight on May 19th. Uh, just today he finished a... Uh, sparring session of 12 rounds and uh, he's looking really sharp very strong i am very pleased with this work right now hey i believe i seen a little clips on on instagram and of course the ones that he shows but uh i feel like he's getting ready he's getting back to the tracks in in order to regain his title because i, I believe let's say an, an example if it were me and and i feel like kind of the decision went wrong in the last time when I lost my titles. I'm gonna my titles. Um, I'm gonna feel like super hungry that eventually I w I want to go back and regain my titles. So I'm guessing that Danny. I I feel like he probably is hungry and and he has and he has all these desires that eventually he wants his titles and and of course we're gonna see when the times happen and the time comes for. Someone would would allow Danny and challenge him in order to, or probably this fighter would defend the title against Danny. Can you tell us which one would it be first? I mean, eventually, as much as I know, that would be Nettie. But can you explain us if he, if he, this fight don't happen, or as much as you guys want it? Well, like like you said, look, Danny has not lost his hunger. Okay, he definitely wants to regain his uh, his titles. I believe that MJ has the IBF and the, and the super, uh, super champion for the WBA. Um, right now, is, that fight is not possible. Uh, but then he is the mandatory to Luis Neri. And I believe after this fight, uh, on May 19th, Neri will be defending against Figueroa. Once that fight happens, I am hoping that right around September, Neri will be fighting for the title with either one, whether it's Figueroa or whether it's uh, Neri. So, yeah, de definitely Danny will become a world champion again. No doubt about that. Hey, you guys feel definitely that going on the same, in the same feeling where you guys pursuing the titles, and I, and I believe Danny will will do as much as, as he can because eventually I want to bring it up this. He got the Mexican blood, and, and I know Mexicans, they go go to war once they step in, in the ring and like Chavez and Marcus and all these fighters, uh, these great fighters that we eventually seen in the past, I think Danny will, like the way Hispanic people says, we're going to die in the line. We're going to leave it everything right there. So I bet you that Danny will, will do as much as he can in, in order to regain his titles. But uh, can you explain us like how does it work this, you know, this, um, these situations where where the fighter has to go and defend the title or the other fighter has to um, probably vacate the title. Can you explain us a little bit of how these things work in, in, the, in the boxing field? 
Well, like like I was telling you, uh, Dan is the mandatory for uh, Luis Neri right now. Uh, just recently, I read that Showtime and PVC has announced that the winner of uh, Brandon Figueroa or Luis Neri would be uh, meeting up in September with uh, Stephen Fulton. Well, uh, I have other plans with that. Uh, I truly believe that Denny has to have the opportunity in September rather than anybody else. That is the uh, the mandatory. Neddy has a full year to uh, cooperate and defend within that year, and I believe September is a deadline for him to defend against Danny. Either he has to defend or vacate the title. That's, that's true because... Uh... Uh, let me bring it up this uh, an example, right? We recently see we recently watched Canelo versus versus Gilderim, and I know a lot of people that were angry, they were upset because they they might say I'm better than Gilderim, and with all due respect to every fighter, including Gilderim, he and I spoke with Mr. Silva, Mr. Victor Silva, and he explained me this, and and even Mauricio Soleimán explained it. If he, there are certain rules and clauses where the fighter has to follow either way. Defend the title or vacate the title, but eventually these things, they have to be respected. Why? Because this is, it, this is how the WBC or the other organizations work. So some of the fighters, sometimes they don't like that. They, they be like, why would I gotta uh, see this fight when the fighter is not 100% good or... I mean, different thoughts that sometimes the fighters they have uh, against the opponent or the person that is in front of the line in order to f to fight the other the other person like Canelo, Gilderim. Gilderim, as I mentioned, they were saying, I don't think it's good enough for for uh, for Canelo. But guess what? There was something in in the closest that they they said it. This is the mandatory fighter. So I believe it is almost the same thing. Um, let me correct myself, it's the same thing with Danny. Danny has to have the opportunity in order to go and, and challenge somebody with the title. That I'm guessing if it is the IBF or WBA, but eventually that's Nettie, the one that especially has to go for it. And hopefully this fight's happening. I, I want to say that, you know, thank you for explaining me this because sometimes some of the fight fighter or fight fans they don't understand uh, about how the organizations work but I definitely want to stay tuned and check Danny's fights and and hopefully for you and your and your team and Danny happens this fight because eventually you, all of you work harder and, and I'm guessing that it has to do the right it has to be the right thing in order to give or gain the opportunity and I think as you mentioned Danny already won the opportunity in order to fight for a world title and here we are so <laughs> I can't wait for for the fight happens look well, what better opposition for Luis Neri than Danny Roman Danny Roman's the next unified world champion more deserving than anybody else he gained the opportunity by uh, by beating Juan Payano on an elimination bout he plays sanction in peace you know, once I, I I saw the notification that the winner of Fulton, or or uh, I'm sorry, uh, the winner of Figueroa and uh, Neri will fight Fulton next, um, I took it upon myself to write a letter to the WBC, expressing uh, to them my disappointment on that. I know it's not the WBC. I know somebody else has plans, but I still have to direct myself to the WBC and make sure that they mandate the fight with Neri or Figueroa versus Danny Roman. Again, he won the, the the opportunity. He won the right to fight for that title, and I'm gonna make sure that that gets respected. And I'm sure the WBC will do the right thing, you know. And I'm sure, you know, that he will, that Mauricio will, Suleiman will do the right thing because uh, I just brought up an example, right? People might don't be don't agree with certain rules, but they has to be respected in the in, in any organization. It doesn't matter if it's WBC, WBA, IBF, and the rest of the organizations that, you know, boxing, that are composed with boxing. And I believe, um, and I wish, you know, for all of you, because I, I, I'm i assuming, right, and I'm not a boxer, but uh, if I will be the boxer, I will be disappointed, I will be upset, I will be mad at certain things because if the fight doesn't happen. And eventually, let's talk about this. 
because um, recently I, I saw something on the, on the social media where eventually right now these fighters, they they avoiding each other. What do you think about certain things that sometimes they feel, I feel like ah. they're kind of fishy, they're kind of like weird because we don't get to see these fights. Like eventually you mentioned right now an example. Uh, Nettie has to defend the title against Danny and he has to do the right thing but eventually instead of let's say an example right that they don't want to defend the title they, they go in a different way why we see all these things that, that's my question look I really don't know uh, I, I'm used to seeing uh, the best fighting the best I come from that era uh, we're in a we're in an era right now when fighters avoid everybody. That's not the case with Danny Roman. Danny Roman fights everybody, right? But here, let me explain something to you that is happening right now. You see these YouTubers coming out. You see all the circus that is going on because the best are not fighting the best. You see a lot of these uh, retired fighters coming back and uh, putting up exhibitions. And people are coming to see these exhibitions because they know that all these retired fighters that are coming back, like uh, Mike Tyson, Chavez, uh, Barrera, Morales, um, and you name it. All yeah. of these guys are coming back. People want to see these people, uh, these fighters fight, because back in their days, in their prime, they were giving you the best fights possible. And they want to be able to come back and reminisce and see that these fighters can still do what they used to do. The contrary with fighters now these days in this era, you know, everybody is like, let's marinate. Uh, you're not paying me enough. Uh, I'm not really sure what their interest is, you know, mm. but they're, they're not doing the right thing for the sport. They're not doing the right thing for the, for the fans. And the fighters like Danny that come in here and they fight the best and they fight whoever they put in front of them, that's the fighters that the fans should be appreciating. Not the spiders that are avoiding everybody else, you know. You're right, and I and I agree with you. I remember I spoke with um, with someone that eventually works for the TV. I can't mention his name, but uh, he said to me back in the days in my era, and as you mentioned, back in the days in the eras where we used to watch Chavez, uh, Vargas, and Mallorca, and all these great fighters. They used to call, you know, out each other and they might say, okay, let's make the fight happen. And, and in, in these days, we don't get to see that. We eventually see people getting a boy and I guess this is scary. I don't know if they, they, they feel afraid to let it go, the, the zero. When I say the zero is the undefeated record. And, but let's, let's not forget, undefeated record, to me, I, I know it means, it means something for the fighter and with all due respect. If he, any fighter out there has the undefeated record, congratulations. But the, if let's say an example, if I will be the fighter and I have to face that type of fighter that is in front of me, I have to do it. But in these days, sometimes we don't get to see it. And sometimes, look at that. You, you, you mentioned something very important right now. We just recently saw uh, two persons. I don't know if I, if I have the right to say they are fighters or not. One of the YouTubers, uh, Jake Paul, if I'm not mistaken, against a MMA fighter. <clears throat> they brought something, I don't know if we, I have to call it a fight or I don't know what is it. But I seen in the, in the social media, a lot of people that were criticizing this. And why is this? It's because fighters, they avoid each other and they don't want to make their fights. Exactly. So, exactly. I mean, look, Jake Paul is all what he has to do. He has a large following, okay? People are paying to see this, and they have every right as long as they pay for that, right? But that's a hard-earned money. Uh, me, personally, I don't agree with those fights, but, it, you know, I have to respect what they are doing. It's a business, and again, as long as, and as, long as we have all these fighters who don't want to meet the best, we're going to be getting this type of entertainment. And it's really, really sad for the sport of boxing to see this happening because I love the sport. I grew up in the sport. And uh, like I said, I come from a different era, you know. And lucky for me and lucky for Danny that we think alike. And Danny 
likes to fight the best. Yeah, I definitely I I'm in the same feeling with you guys because uh, as I used to be um, younger, I used to be a kid, and one day, and I I'm gonna mention this. I bumped it into Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield, I remember when I spoke with him and, and everything. And then I said, listen, uh, with all the respect to you, you know, I mean, you were one of the greatest fighters to me. I mean, I know there is Mike Tyson and I, and I can name other fighters in the heavyweight division. But you are one of the persons that you don't dog nobody. You, you definitely, the, whatever, whoever they put you in front of you, you go for it. So that to me is a lot of respect. Uh, and then I remember that I mentioned him. Now I don't know what's going on. We don't get to see this type of fight. So I don't know if the boxing is losing or is missing something over here. But eventually, this fight there is rare to see that the best, as you mentioned before, the best fight the best. If that opportunity comes from one person and the other has to defend or I guess um, go and challenge the, 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 the champion. For some reason we don't see it, but I'm hoping for you guys because it will be it will be very disappointed. I, I gotta say it will be very disappointed if we don't get to see this type of type of fights like Neri versus Danny Roman. And I'm hoping all the fight fans, uh, uh, the way that they go in social media and reclaim the fights happen. Hopefully this fights happen. It's like now Errol Spence, Crawford. How long is gonna take? I don't know, but the fight fans, they want to see these fights. Well, look, that's a good example. Mike, I mean, not Mike Tyson, uh, uh, Manny Pacquiao and, uh, and Mayweather. Look how long it took for them to fight. Ooh. It just took just way too long. And yeah, a lot of people still went and bought the fight, but it was not the same. You know, they were not in the prime. They didn't give you the fight that, that uh, the fans were expecting, you know? Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah, what can I say, right? Yes, right. <laughs> we are. I mean, for for me and and my best wishes for for your team and Danny is that hopefully this fight happens because once again, the fans they will be disappointed as they see. With all due respect to Jay Paul and the other MMA fighter, um, I they they have two different. Uh, what can I say? Different different type of ways I, I guess uh, to fight because to me once again there were fighters and I know it, this is not a lie this is not something that I'm saying wrong but I seen critics and comments that they said it you should go and face this person and let's say if he if he Jake Paul would do against certain fighter I I'm a, I feel like a hundred percent Jake Paul as much as he trained as a, as a boxer he has not complete you know He's not a complete boxer, so it's like let's say an example, right? And I'm gonna put myself in this in, in this case. Let's say me going against any professional fighter, right? I don't have the skills. Even though as much as I train boxing and as much as I can run and do I haven't done this in my whole life. So that doesn't if I train something a little bit, that doesn't mean that I'm a boxer. Or am I wrong? Look. No, uh, look, Jake Paul, what I've seen from him, he knows how to throw punches. He knows how to move around a little bit, okay? Uh, but he lacks the experience to go in there and, and fight a real fighter. You know, I mean, he lacks that experience. Uh, where, he, where he gain that experience with time? Perhaps, but he needs to have better competition in the ring, not in the sparring session, but in the fight. Because the guys that he's fighting, like this person that he just fought, on, you know, the guy from MMA, we know he's not a striker, okay? He's a wrestler. He's way, way overweight. You know, the guy is not, it's not the perfect opponent. Yeah, they say, well, you know, you have to take him little by little. Yeah, you can take him little by little, but you can still get the right opposition that can teach you how to gain the experience. In this case... I think he had, what, three, four fights? He has not fought anybody that has any type of his skills and experience to teach him how to be a better fighter. Exactly. And he lacks that right now. But, you know, eventually this fight happens because, once again, something is going on in boxing. They're not making or demanded, like, the, fight, the, the fighter that is in front of somebody 
has to go and defend the title or the other has to allow the fighter to go to be challenged by whoever is in front in front of him but as i mentioned hopefully danny is not the case that you know because that he will be avoided because i will feel very disappointed if i don't get to see nary versus danny it's not because let's say i'm just over here speaking with you uh it's because as you mentioned the sport of boxing, I think, is losing... Is credibility? Losing, huh? Credibility? Yeah, exactly. You said it. Uh, you took the words of my mouth. I was just, just going to say, exactly, it is losing cre credibility. And, and and I would say, this is sad for the sports. And, and, and I'm very disappointed. I love the sport as much as you do. I, I probably would say... This is not a. The, this is a different era where we used to see Mike Tyson and all these great fighters that you know you can mention the names, but I'm hoping for Danny and not only Danny, but for whoever is in front, like let's say, waiting for a title shot because it would be disappointing if someone says, "Oh, let's go in a different way because we don't want to defend the title against the, the opponent because I I feel like the opponent right in front of us." Am I gonna win, or, or they they see something? They're not blind. I feel like the people are not blind in this game. Well, look in, in this instance, you know, like they said, they want Figueroa uh, uh, and Nady to fight Fulton because they feel that that's a big fight. That there's a bigger fight. Come on, Denny has a big name. Denny is a big fight. I'll explain something to you. Fulton won the world title, and I'm not criticizing him as a fighter or as a champion. It's just a scenario here. Okay, he wants a world title. Okay? And that's supposed to make him better than Danny? No. You know, Fulton hasn't even defended. He might lose on his next outing. You know, same thing with Nady. Nady just won the title. He might lose on his next outing. Danny is a uh, well-established champion or ex-champion. He, he defended his title five times. And you're going to sit here and tell me that Danny is not a credible opponent for Nady, for Fulton, for NJ? Mm. For Figueroa, for all these guys, come on. He has accomplished a lot more. He has a lot more credibility than they do. He's just not holding the titles at this moment. It's true, and I correct. agree. Because, yes, correctly, because I've seen, I seen, I seen the record of, of Danny, and Danny has, you know, with all due respect to every fighter that Danny faced in the past, hey, Danny won this, all these fights, and the record that he has, he, it seems that, he worked harder for this. I'm not saying that the fighters didn't work harder, but eventually Danny, I feel like he's he should be next with Nary and and let's say let I encourage every fight fan if he get to see the interview because uh, eventually these are the fights that eventually makes the, the sport of boxing the beauty of of boxing beautiful because we get to see this type of fight. But if eventually people are avoiding each other. I don't know. I think, I don't know if we, people are, mm, don't blame, uh, like I always mention other people, don't blame sometimes the boxing fans if we, they go later on and watch wrestling or watch uh, UFC or MMA because we don't get to see the fights that eventually people are supposed to see. Mm -hmm. Right? Correct, correct, yes. We're yes. heading, yes. we're heading right now on May, eventually it's a it's a it's a Mexican day because uh, eventually it's something is a holiday for Mexico. Cinco de Mayo, but Canelo will be fighting on May eight against Billy Joe Sanders. What do you think about this match that eventually Canelo is going against the British guy Billy Joe Sanders? That's an interesting fight. Okay, I think uh, Sanders might give him a little more of a fight than the uh, rest of the guys that he just recently fought. He's left-handed, and he's a strong kid. And uh, I think Canelo might have a little bit more of an issue this outing than, than before. But at the end of the day, I think Canelo's still going to come up victorious on, on this fight. Uh, his body his body work is just exceptional. Uh, his feints work for him really, really well. And uh, not to mention his defense. Yeah, he's got pretty good defense. So at the end of the day, I think Canelo's going to be uh, the person who will become victorious on that night. I really, I mean, I'm very interested to watch this fight because eventually if Canelo pulls the win over over Billy Joe, we will see 
a other fighters that eventually are on the list for Canelo, Cali Plan. Um, who else is there? Benavides is being like called. Yeah, Benavides that's is being called. Mm -hmm. That's the guy I want to see. Benavides is the guy I want to see him in there with. Eventually, uh, you know, let, let's talk about Benavides and Canelo. This is one of the things and interesting because I spoke with Mr. Benavides and I don't have nothing against nobody. It's like I, I, you just mentioned it, right? About the, the case of Danny. It's something similar on Benavides because Benavides says the father says that he, they already wanted uh, the opportunity to face Canelo. And in the interview, Mr. Benavides Sr. says, after Canelo, let's say Canelo, he mentioned to me this, he says, Canelo is a great fighter. He, he's the man that eventually right now everyone wants to fight. But eventually if Canelo wins over uh, Billy Joe and then Cali plan and, and, and we are next. And he has no choice to face us. Or either, he mentioned this, or either way, he defend the titles against Benavides or he will vacate the title. So it's something similar in your case because, kind of similar the case because Canelo has no choice. And I know Canelo is a great fighter. He's a great fighter. He's a great, he's right now one of the names that uh, his, his name, his only name sells, sells out of uh, anything. It could be key chains. Well, mm -hmm. well let, let, let me tell you, there's a little difference between uh, Canelo and, and Danny. Canelo happens to be the face of boxing right oh, now. Oh yes. So so he has a lot of power in the game. Okay, he can make decisions that the WBC or any other organization are going to back him up on his decisions. Again, because he's the face of boxing. So does he necessarily have to vacate? Maybe no. Uh, maybe yes, but I, I doubt that. In in Danny's case, you know, uh, uh, Neri or Figueroa are not that strong as a uh, that's an attraction for boxing. So that's, I think that's the difference there. But I'll tell you what, uh, Camero needs, needs to give Benavides the opportunity uh, because I think he has earned the, the right. I think he's the one fighter that might come forward unafraid and just try to give him the best fight of, uh, of his life. And uh, I think with a monetary, it would also be a good thing for Camero to give a Mexican the opportunity to make a few millions as well. You know, he's giving everybody else the opportunity, but what happens to his uh, to his people? He's, he's got to pass a, a piece of bread down to, to his uh, uh, Mexican fellows as well. Yes, you're right, and and you you correct on definitely you. I I agree with you. What you mentioned before to me, you know, that, I mean, uh, Canelo has a name and he has uh, some certain power. I would say in order to decide who faces and who not, but eventually people want to see Benavides and Canelo and hopefully this fight happens because I feel like it would be sad to that we don't get to see these fights. Mm -hmm. I agree. And that, that's something that, like like I said, you, I mean, if it happens, the fight fans, they will stay, they will, they, they will be satisfied. I mean, regardless if he... Who wins or who doesn't? We leave it at the end because I, I, we don't know what, what exact, exactly it can happen in the fight because I know Benavides is coming with everything. Canelo, of course, he might, he might gonna say I have more to lose if I, if I lose against Benavides. But the challenger, like I, I see and I heard sometimes the challenger, he says I don't have nothing to lose, but they do because if they lose, they, I become the champion and. And that's it. All the titles coming with me, and so this is this is some some of the things that eventually we want to see in the sports. And talking about the sports, we recently had you know face off of watching Cambosos versus Lopez. What do you think about this match? Because eventually Cambosos seems very focused person, and and he seems that he don't want to talk, I guess, that much. But eventually he says. I, I I just can't wait for the for the day. So, what do you think of this fight? That's a very interesting fight. I think it's gonna be a very strong fight uh, for for Teofimo and for Camboso as well. Uh, you know, Teofimo is a very strong kid. He's a talented kid. Uh, the, the last fight I saw with him against Lomachenko, he surprised me with the speed. You know, he has excellent timing. 
And uh, at the end of the day, I think he, he, he'll probably be victorious because of his uh, punching power. And that means he's very confident, you know. Camboso, I tell you what, I've seen him fight once before. Uh, other than that, I had never seen him fight uh, before. And uh, during the uh, press conference that they had a couple of days ago, he seems to be uh, pretty focused, unafraid. So that might be uh, that might be a plus for him, you know. If he's not afraid and he's willing to come in and dish it out and back up Teofimo, well, then maybe he's got an opportunity as well, you know. But I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna stay with uh, with Teofimo Lopez on this fight. I really want want to see Teofimo and Cambosos, and as you mentioned, we describe the skills of both fighters. I feel like. This is an interesting fight because uh, Camboso, uh, you know, is is one of the guys that eventually he won his opportunity in order to face Teofimo. I believe that there are more fighters, talented fighters, as I seen in the, in his weight division because uh, there is Ryan Garcia. There are other names I can continue mentioning, but eventually Camposo is the is the person that has to face Teofimo. He's is something that boxing fans they love it and hoping as a, as we see the example of Teofimo Lopez versus Cambosos hope I am hoping that that for Danny if he come out victorious that eventually he's working hard for his opportunity in order to face Neri hopefully we get to see this because if he don't and then I will be very disappointed uh, well, I would be very disappointed as well you know like I said Danny uh, won the opportunity If these champions are voting Danny, then I don't know what to say. You know, they're not, then they're not real champions. They need, they need to fight Daniel. I think he's the man to beat at 122. I really do. And uh, if they don't, then again, I don't know what to say about boxing anymore. Yeah, that that Because would be Dennis, very, that would be yeah, very Dennis disappointing. Been, yeah, Danny has been waiting since uh, last January for another opportunity. You know, most other fighters. They lose their title, and within months they get another opportunity. And here we are playing politics with Danny, and uh, that disappoints me quite a bit. I definitely, BB, I'm gonna be very disappointed too because, uh, as I mentioned, <clears throat> right now we are the the fight fans demands this fight. The fight fans they want to see whoever is in front of any champion. They want to see this fight, as as I mentioned right now, Teofimo. Cambosos, I'm pretty sure that people might gonna say, but Cambosos is not is not the mandatory. I'm pretty sure they by they might be criticizing, they might be gonna say I'm better than Cambosos. But guess what? It has to be respected the rules, the clauses that they've been certain in in a paper and and, and these these organizations they work in with every fighter. It has to be respected, and hopefully for you guys. The case can be done, and we get to see the fight with Danny. And as much as I I want to, I wish nothing but the best for Danny yourself. And hopefully, the fights happen in the future. Well, like I said before, you know, I, I'm sure that Mauricio Soleiman will do the right thing. Uh, we met him in uh, May of last year, I believe. And uh, we talked to him. We told him that we wanted the opportunity to fight for, for the WBC. We have always wanted to fight for the WBC. That's the belt that Danny wants to wear around his waist. And and I'm hoping that the uh, WBC will do the right thing for Daniel and, uh, you know, follow the rules that they have in place within that organization. Again, they're a credible uh, san uh, sanctioning body, and I'm hoping that they'll do the right thing. I'm hoping, too, because... These are the fights that every every fight fan demanded. They want to see it and hoping for every fighter out there, they get their chances, they get uh, the opportunity to face each other. And let's, like I always mention, let's hope for the best. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Any 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 message that you would like to add it up uh, on this interview before we wrap it up? Well, first of all, I want to thank you again for having me here interviewing with you and you know for daniel fans come out on may 19th if you don't if you can't come uh to watch the fight live you can catch it on showtime and expect the best fight of the night with daniel like he always does uh that's basically it 
I want to say thank you, wishing for you and Danny the best because uh, like I mentioned before, I can put myself in as an example if I will be a fighter and I don't get the opportunity to fight, to face a challenge or be the challenger for any title, it doesn't matter to me. I will be very disappointed if they don't give me the opportunity because once the fighter, the fighter has the, the right to gain the opportunity to face and, and I'm hoping that this is the case that Danny get the opportunity and fight the man, be the mandatory for, for Neri or whoever appears in front of him. But I'm guessing this is, this Neri, is Neri the, the one. So we get to see these fights. And I want to say thank you for your time and, and we'll stay tuned and, and check in on Danny's uh, recently upcoming fight. So thank you again. Thank you, Christian. Thanks, my stay.